Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Dignity, 12 o'clock location as the hot pink Protoss. We got Bon Bon, 9 o'clock location as, once again, the pink Protoss. We have Gosifer. This is on Neo Sylphid, which has this natural expansion, which is kind of on the pseudo high ground. Like, you can kind of go up the... kind of go up these ramp areas, but it functions as high ground. It's kind of a weird structure in that regard. This is really an, like, a, I think, unique feature to Neo Sylphid, actually. Is this kind of odd rock? And honestly, I, when you're looking at it as like a neophyte player, I would expect it. You're like, oh, this is a island, right? No, it's but this this terrain and that terrain, you can kind of walk up and down it. So it's kind of a weird feature. Anyway, quick matches thus far between both of these guys. More aggressive play on both ends. Seen. I'm wondering if we're going to see a macro match between them. But thus far, Gosefer able to strike quick victories twice, Bonbon bon with a follow-up Dark Templar, and Gosefer GGing immediately. Saying, nope, don't want to fight it. I wonder if he actually had, if he had known that he was only going up against a single gate in the background, if he would have opted to fight it out, but he's got games to spare. Gateway initially for both players, so we're not going to see. This is a three-player map, and once again, Gosefer sending out the much more rapid scout than his opponent. This is something I want to find to do, find a way to do as an observer, is find a way to like do that smooth transition to the like, because you can see how it does the hop. Boom. Let's see, figure out a way to do like the smoother transition to. Anyway, side thing I've been thinking about: double gate. And it looks like we are going to have Gosefer try to open up with an assimilator gateway build. Bonbon bon is going to get first scout, so should have probes. Probe support with the initial three zealots. Gosefer, however, blockading the way with his probe to slow down an initial zealot. Looks like first zealot's going to be produced before Cybernetic Score already an Ancy Manor Pylon. Inside Gosefer's base, mining that gas. Doesn't have that Cybernetic Score morphing as of yet. This is a rampless natural expansion. Probe taking some damage and Going ahead and taking off from there. There the cybernetic score being warped. You can see that probe trying to get some damage, slow down that gas production. At least annoy that gas production momentarily. Goes for sweeping right back around just to make sure that what wants to get an eye as to when that gas is grabbed and maybe get some additional disruption on these additional two zealots. But as far and actually Gosefer opting two zealots to start off, which is gonna delay this dragoon significantly. And it's going to come down to some... So now that assimilator being grabbed. And with some probe support, actually. So yeah, wisely, if Bonbon bon tried to force that through, that zealot would have lost. And is he going to go... Yeah, so he's going to go a Dragoon to follow and try to defend it from here. Bonbon, bon, let's see if he can micro his way. This is a difficult little spot to micro. But if he can get those three zealots, dance them in and out, might be able to create a breach and maybe get a probe killer or two. Currently, ahead in the overall probe count otherwise. It's kind of the nature of this build order. Engaging right there. It's two on one with the probe actually able to focus. So peeling it back out, but now the Dragoon joining the attack, which means Bon Bon is going to get rejected and just going to have to exit and return back to home base, which also puts him in an uncomfortable position where Gonna have fewer Dragoons later and might feel less comfortable grabbing his natural expansion where Gosefer uh, might want to keep that probe alive. This is actually a huge advantage as well as having that probe information. Looks like a second gateway plopping down range about halfway finished. Gosefer going to go ahead and sweep back around. Yeah, I think this is more valuable just keeping it in the base. The Dragoons are going to be out in just a second. It looks like this is going to be legit ranged. One Dragoon peeling off. Able to get the kill right there. So you got three zealots, two sorry, four zealots, two dragoons out for Bonbon. Bon versus the two dragoons, two zealots. But three gate once again from Gosefer. So he wants to follow this up with again, potentially more economic pressure. Four gate again! So this is gonna be three games in a row where Gosefer is going to opt for the four gate opener. 
And this is typically like the maximum amount that you can sustain out of a single base. It puts you way behind as far as being able to grab your natural expansion. Six pro bleed for Bonbon, so if Bonbon can hold it off, he'll be in a strong position in the mid game, but if he falters here, that will be his tournament life. Four Dragoons pressing forward. I also like what Gosefer is doing here and splitting off just four Dragoons rather than the entirety of his attack force. Hoping to catch that Dragoon timing a little bit earlier. He does have range finish, and this is again, I'll go ahead and flop up the cybernetic score so you can kind of see the few moments he has to get the free pot shots. Every shot counts. So getting a couple pot shots there early, now retreating. And it looks like he wants to try to pull similar shenanigans as to what he pulled in match two. Bonbon bon not falling for it this time, trying to keep his army grouping cohesive. Group fire, Gosefer doing a great job of actually pulling Dragoons out before they're taking base damage. Now Gosefer re-engaging, wants to force these fights. Because if he can force these fights, he will have the superior amount of troops down the line. Bon Bon, let's see if he realizes right now he knows that he's outnumbered. Is pulling back some rally troops, has two cannons morphing in. He's going to need a lot more cannons and potentially probe support in a hurry. Because this is a sizable army pressing towards his natural expansion. Can Bon Bon micro this to make it happen? One cannon picked off. Additional micro. Looks like superior Dragoon count... For the moment for Bonbon, bon, but more Dragoons are going to be coming and in a hurry. Gosefer trying to force the issue. Nice bit of micro step there by Bonbon. Bon. And Gosefer trying to abuse now the high ground. There is that mischance here, but it looks like the mischance not being much of a factor there. Luck on Bonbon's bon side. And the Dragoon attack force getting wiped out on the front. Through a superior reinforcement location, Bonbon... Bon Going to stage on... Well, he's going to stop. No, he's continuing with the pressure. Oh, that could be a mistake. Three Dragoons versus three Dragoons. Two of them damaged. Fourth Dragoon going to follow. I'm not sure if Bonbon bon has realized that he's going up against a four gate at this stage. So expending more troops. Let's see if he gets another cannon warped in. It looks like he's still pumping out of those two gateways. He's dropped a third gateway. He's working on plus one weapons now. That Nexus is going to come online. But there's going to be another sweep of troops here. And I'm hoping that Gosefer actually waits, because if he waits for those additional Dragoons, that should be sufficient to punch through. But if he oversteps and gets out microed, might end up in a similar situation that we saw just a moment ago. Four Dragoons with the fifth out shortly, poking at the front, trying to keep those cannons down. Gosefer backing up, more reinforcements coming in. Natural expansion is up, so time is running out for Gosefer. He's got four more Dragoons on the way. That will double the count, but that third gateway's up, which means production... And there's also two cannons on the line, which means production might be equalized here for Bonbon. Bonbon, can he hold? Group fire moving up. The Dragoons pressing to the natural. Probes pulling off the line. Two Dragoons remaining with a cannon. Check that. Cannon's gone. Reinforcements moving up. Probes... Now, microing this back, three Dragoons versus four plus probes for Bonbon. Bon. However, Ghost for stutter stepping this way back, chewing in, but I don't know that Bonbon bon realizes that this is a, an attempt at a kill blow. Another Dragoon gone. And with the travel distance, the three gates and the cannons, I think Bonbon bon is going to hold this. Gosefer still trying to micro his way through this. Not doing the best job. A lot of scattered fire from these Dragoons. It looks like he's using stop position rather than target position fire. That's two Dragoons. With three gateways production behind it. One cannon getting dropped. Gosefer still pressing. Four more Dragoons pressing forward. More cannons are going to be needed for Bonbon. Bon. Two Dragoons getting picked off on that edge. Two more additional cannons being plopped down. And this is now four gate production that Bonbon bon can suffice. So all he has to do is weather the storm and he will have the dominant economic lead here. To shove it to game five. But he's got to weather the next two rounds of Dragoons. One cannon down. One cannon, not one Dragoon not even attacking. Just wandering up that left hand edge and getting wiped out. And Bonbon bon able to focus fire, allow that latent cannon defense to shove these troops back. He's just got to survive this next round of Dragoon, and Bonbon bon will force the GG. 
More Dragoons grouping up. This is Forgate versus Forgate now, plus the travel distance for Gosifer. He's got five Dragoons. Bonbon has the five Dragoons, three cannons on the front versus just these five Dragoons. So he actually even has a superior Dragoon count on his side, poking away at the cannon to try to draw these troops out. But yeah, just has to not flub the micro here. Bonbon bon pressing out. Focus firing down his opponent's Dragoons. Doing a great job. Where you can see the Dragoons on the opposite side are not picking their targets well. So Bonbon bon able to clear out the Dragoons. Three, take that, two remaining. And there's plenty more reinforcements now for Bonbon. Bon. He sealed it. He's got double the probe count. Goes for realizes it. Calls GG there. Well played by Bonbon. Bon. Textbook hold right there. Honestly, I feel like this is a replay that people might want to view where it's like, oh, how do we, how do you defend this sort of thing on like a standard distance three-player map? Maybe I'll mark it as such and toss it to CPL, but well played. So we are going to a game five. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.